Welcome to my channel. My name is Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Um, hope you like. Um, I hope you like my new design. I just um added some of my paintings to the walls to make it more um festive, if you will, I guess. I'm <laughs> a little more colorful. Yeah. Splash of color. Splash of color, yeah. We yeah. put a fresh coat of paint on the walls and then hung up your beautiful artwork, yep. which all of these will be for sale. They're not quite yet in his Etsy shop, but um, I'll put it along the bottom, his Etsy address, but it's basically um, Isaacsartstudio.com. www.isaacsartstudio.com. Yeah. There's... Um, he has a lot of his art in there now, and then also I'm going to be taking photos of these hopefully soon and get these in there as well. So, yeah, that will be super <laughs> exciting. And anytime you purchase from his shop, it does help him on his channel because that's what he uses to buy more art supplies so he can make more videos. So, thank you for supporting my videos and for supporting my art. Thank you, I'm blushing. <laughs> You're blushing. You're such a goofball. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we're going to get to mixing some paint and show you this face. Alrighty, so let's get to it. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly spoil down the vase with some water. And... You want me to do this side? Yes. Thank you. So this is just a, a mist, misting bottle. And the reason he's doing this is, why are you doing this? So it will kind of help the paint just slide off the base a little easier. Did you get that side? Is it wet? Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's, this is such a big base and with these curves, sometimes you won't get paint in this section and you have to really work at it. Um, so the water will just help the paint grab on and go down the base. All right, so Isaac has his little cup filled up with paint. Yep. Okay, uh, can you like angle it down so they can kind of see? They can see it. Oh, okay. So am I just pouring it on the top? Just... Yep, top down. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, so um, we are going to try something new. We are going to try these uh, suction cups uh, that my friend bought me for my birthday. Thank you so much. Uh, we we're gonna try these for the first time, and oh, oh. <laughs> let's hope it goes well. So you might want to stand up. So little... This little suction cup. Um, I pour um paint in all four little sections, and then it will once it's pulling down, it will like mix them. Without actually mixing them so much, it will just turn the brown. Yeah, so it kind of keeps the paint separated, which is cool. Yeah. It keeps the paint separated, but it will also mix them once you start pouring, mm -hmm. so it doesn't make brown. Yeah, let me fill it up a little bit more. <laughs> this wow. space is so big. It looks amazing. It does. I think um, I'm just going to put the, because the purple and the orange is kind of taking over. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So I think I'll just do the, the pink, which, by the way, the pink he's using is a color shift. So in the light it'll kind of change color a little bit. It'll give it a little shimmer when it's dry, of course. Yeah. We do like a little swirl. There you go. So you can see oh. it's actually grabbing the paint here, which is great. Oh, now the pink and yellow are kind of taking over. That's okay, I'm gonna use, let me torch it because you got a, you've got a lot of bubbles and that'll bring out some of the paint. I just love seeing paint go down the vase. It's like Niagara paint falls. <laughs> so you can see there's some bubbles. Hopefully you can see that in the video, but there's some bubbles in the paint. So I'm just using this torch. You can use um like a kitchen a kitchen torch, like a creme brulee. Creme brulee, is that how you say it? I'm pretty sure that's the name of a dessert. It is, actually, and that's how you make it. You torch the top of it. So wait, the torch is called creme brulee, but the creme brulee no, is the, also called the dessert? The dirt. The dirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's just edible. It's not dope. I'm pretty sure you can't eat dope. Right? The dessert is called <laughs> creme brulee. 
but the torch is called a creme brulee torch because that's yeah. how you make it right oh my god all right that was a difficult conversation <laughs> yes it was <laughs> oh my goodness wow that looks pretty cool um you have wow. a lot of paint sitting on the top here so you might want to coax that down a little bit dang all right so we're gonna let it drip a minute it looks it looks pretty amazing there's not really a lot of the purple aside from on the bottom which is kind of disappointing well we'll add a little bit more <clears throat> hang on one second i'm gonna put the torch down yep don't want to burn yourself but so see with the water that was so great that isaac sprayed it with water because it, it clung to the whole vase so now we're not you know using a whole bunch of extra paint to try and fill up those spots just a little bit, just really a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of each color. Okay, let's try that. There you go, a little bit more. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Oh, that looks beautiful. I feel like it's just mostly going to get more at the bottom than anything. Oops. So yeah, maybe you could take um, your finger or a stick. If you if you have sensory issues, you might want to use a stick. Note like the, just go from the center and do like a swirl. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of paint sitting there, isn't there? Oh yeah. Okay, so here's the face, and I think it looks amazing. It looks amazing, and I feel like the resin kind of makes it really shine. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell from the lighting in, in the camera, but it really is like sparkling from my perspective, probably because I'm holding it right in front of my face. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe you can try this technique at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it helps my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and you guys are the best. Thank <laughs> you.